A failure to communicate gave the Idaho Appellate Court an opportunity to clarify contract law in Connick International Corporation v. Spokane Computer Services. David Young, an employee of Spokane Computer Services, was asked to research possible surge protectors for the office. Young found several protectors priced between $50 and $200, but none of them fit the bill. After speaking with a sales representative from Connick International Corporation, Young thought he had found the right protector. Young asked about price, and the Connick sales rep responded that the protector cost, quote, $56.20, unquote. Young mistakenly believed that the protector cost $56.20. In fact, the protector cost $5,620. Young had a purchase order drafted for $56.20 and forwarded the purchase order number to Connick. The protector was ultimately installed. Due to internal processing issues at both companies, no one caught the pricing discrepancy until several weeks later when comparing Connick's invoice to Spokane's purchase order. At that point, Spokane's president called Connick and said that Spokane didn't want the protector. Connick insisted that the protector was now Spokane's and that Spokane needed to pay in full. When Spokane refused to pay, Connick sued for breach of contract in Idaho State Court. The matter was referred to a magistrate judge who found for Spokane. On appeal, the district court also concluded that there was no contract between Connick and Spokane because Young lacked apparent authority from Spokane to purchase the protector. Connick appealed to the Idaho Court of Appeals.